and let us all that we can to build a better future. Uh, in an unsigned opinion, uh, the uh, the six three conservative majority ruled uh, that Centers for Disease Control and Prevention does not have the authority implement uh, implement the eviction moratorium, the latest version of which was put in place earlier this month in response to pressure from progressive lawmakers and activists. So basically, what is happening is uh, the United States Supreme Court is, ends the eviction moratorium. So I want everyone to see that right there, right then and there. Um, Millions of people across the United States are once again at immediate risk of losing their homes after the conservative-dominated Supreme Court on Thursday struck down the Biden administration's eviction moratorium, siding with a coalition of landlords and real estate companies that challenged the critical lifeline for a lot of working-class people. Uh, I just want to say this right here, right now. Uh, you t um, vote blue no matter who. And all the people who were cheerleading AOC and Cori Bush when they were sleeping in front of the, the Capitol Hill. Um, what was the victory? What was the celebration? Are you going to do another sleeping? Are you going to do another PR stunt? Because, I, you know, I, again, I want to remind everyone that it was the Democratic House lawmakers, the Democratic House representatives that adjourned. And AOC and Cory Bush had to run, run, run to stop them from adjourning. They screwed up. And now, once again, as we have said before, millions of Americans are at risk of being evicted from their homes. I'm a little angry right now because again i'm tired of incompetence i'm tired of failure i want to pull up this tweet shout out to uh, fiorella isabel of the convo couch uh this tweet of hers is reminder this was a pr stunt and here's a tweet and here's a little video let's go ahead and play that video will people's rent be forgiven none of that. None of that will people's rent be forgiven hey, we're gonna figure that out <laughs> <laughs> of course but, what are you going to do so i'll keep pressuring do. yeah So our reasons known was to make sure that we extended this moratorium. That's what we're here to do. This is only ceasefire. This is only ceasefire. This is not a victory. People still owe money. We still people still owe money. They're doing people music. Still owe money. No. This is only ceasefire. People still owe money. What are we gonna do in 90 days? You're acting like this is a victory when people still owe money. Why are you going to get charged us? What are you going to do? Hold your corporate colleagues accountable. They're giving money to Israel in apartheid state when they could be using that money to forget people's rent. Give it up for a minute. We all have to keep pushing together. That's right. That's right. Then don't stop coming out. Then don't stop coming out. Keep showing up for 90 days straight. We then let's do it. Let's not stop. Let's not only rely on I agree, them. But they are exhausted and we need to help them. Then let's keep doing. Then we need to not rely on leaders. All right, can, can, we, can we pause here right, right here real quick? So first, shout out to Frank Analysis because that's him filming this. And we actually covered this on a previous mm -hmm. episode of Hard Lens Media. I understand a lot of these activists who are saying, oh, wait, we need to be supportive for our, our progressive lawmakers. Look, I said this on the show. I said this again and again and again and again and again. And I'm tired of this incompetence. And maybe it's because of what YouTube just did to us right now. But these lawmakers, they let this happen. AOC and Cory Bush were not there to raise the ruckus before Mama Bear adjourned so that the House Democrats and all their colleagues in the GOP can go on their six-week fantastic vacation. People are in the fight for their lives right now. So the thing is, you can't carry water for these progressive lawmakers, even if they say things you want to hear, because the Supreme Court just kicked that little celebration, that music, off the side. If we can, can we still play the rest of that video, please, FaZe? Thank you. Not rely on leaders. Mic check. Mic check. Mic check. Thank you all. Real quick. Attention. Our start to yesterday. So just real quick. The overall sentiment here is we we can take a pause to appreciate the efforts that we've all collectively put together and accomplished. So that corporations can scheme in the meantime. Like the congressmen have said, the work is still not done, and that requires us to be here. Everyone keeps asking, what, what, what should we do now? We're going to keep here. We're going to stay here until the rest of the work is done. We're not buying the theatrics. We're not buying the theatrics. No, I'm not one person. My man right there. We have 137 people watching. 137 people. Yes. Damn. Okay. That seems like you care about the little guy. So look, activists, look. 
slacktivist. Yeah, well, pretty much. I don't know. What, here's the thing. You know, when we when we started Hard Lens Media, you know, a lot of these activist groups, what, especially in the Chicagoland area, their, their big go-to thing was start at one point and then protest in front of Trump Tower across the river. Where where are you at now? Are you are you gonna are you going to raise a ruckus and sleep in front of the Capitol Hill again or in front of the steps of the Supreme Court? Because right now, as we said before, thirty to forty million Americans are at risk of being evicted from their homes and apartments. I want to pull up a few more tweets and then I want to have Daniel give the uh, final word for this because we have to get to the story. We're going to read all the chats at the end of the show. We do apologize, but we had to let all of you know what YouTube did to us. Um, shout out to Ryan Knight. Uh, the Supreme Court ruled the uh, ruled that extending the eviction moratorium via executive action was unconstitutional, but Congress, which is controlled by the Democrats, can still pass legislation to keep millions of people from being evicted. Don't let Speaker Pelosi, Nancy, Ice Cream Mama Bear Nancy Pelosi, and Chucky Boy Schumer off the hook. That's right. And there's another tweet, too, I want to read. A colleague from the, the Fred Hampton leftists, uh, socialist MMA, Nick who's been on our show before. Yeah, the Supreme Court sucks, but do not let the shit libs pin this just on them. Democrats knew the eviction moratorium was expiring for weeks. Why should they rely on the Supreme Court instead of passing a moratorium through Congress knowing the Supreme Court Supreme Court of the United States is right wing? Exactly. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, um, this falls, the responsibility really falls on the Biden administration and the House Democrats and the Senate Democrats. I know that might offend Vote Blue no matter who, but what's the next plan? Because you better start rallying the troops. You better start showing up. You better start being ready for something. No more theatrics. Daniel, punch him in the goddamn face. I don't think I can really say anything more than you've already said on this. I think that uh, this was exactly what we knew was eventually going to happen, and we've been watching like a slow train wreck, everything build up to this moment. And here we have the squad who's giving lip service not really having a plan on what to do next. And they're like, oh, we're just going to keep it going. But again, the point made in the video is right. But what about the debt? If you have people that are out of work for a year, what happens to that rent that they've accrued? What happens? Are they, are they going to, is there going to be something where we're like, okay, we're just going to, re we're going to reduce it. So that you're only paying your last week's your last month's rent, government will take care of it. If we're doing anything but forgiving that rent, we're about to see a huge amount of people go homeless. We're about to see. You know what AOC cares about? I, I heard. At least I heard that she cares about it. Mm, she domestic about? violence. Oh. You know what? The best way to reunite domestic violence couples is. When the girlfriend that moved away or the wife that moved away doesn't have the place to stay anymore and has to go back to her ex, which is going to happen. It's going to happen in, in, in high numbers, and she's not going to have any credit to go anywhere else. She's probably not going to have the income. She doesn't have a job to go anywhere else. So congratulations. We're making people homeless. We're destroying the economy. We're destroying people's lives. We're further damaging people's uh, in abusive situations. We're taking them of the most vulnerable people and making them even more vulnerable. Hey, but at least we kept them in their house and put them in this debt for a long enough period of time so we can kick them out a few months before winter starts. Vote blue, no matter who. 2022 is going to be very interesting and funny for me to watch. Now, again, hey, vote blue. And even Republican voters, you know, I know because you're team red, team blue. I don't really give a damn anymore. I'm going to vote third party because after seeing what your two political parties offer, it's kind of pathetic. I mean, seriously, you don't even have a seat at the table. That's look at it. The D DNC and RNC don't give a crap about you. And 30 to 40 million Americans are going to be kicked out of their homes and apartments. That's that. 